I just pulled this little thing of plum pits out of the refrigerator. And look what we have here. A germinating plum pit. So I'm gonna go outside and plant it because I don't think I could stick it back in the fridge without breaking off this long, beautiful root. Kinda cool, it works. Be sure you go back and watch my previous video to see how I did it. Tin can cutworm canceller. And there's my control group. No deaths yet, but it's nice to see them. This cantaloupe is almost ready here. This is the one that I uh, mulchalized, threw in all those kitchen scraps. You can't hardly see them anymore, but they're looking pretty good. They're not huge cantaloupes, but the local ones here really aren't that big. It's not bad. Looking good. Seems like we staved off the bugs too with our nicotine insecticide. Right here, I have planted that plum pit, so it should be coming up in a couple of weeks. When it's got that much root on it, um, once things get warm, it'll put a sprout out of the top. So we shall see how it does. It's got plenty of company here. A bunch of other seeds I'm starting at the moment. Everything is looking really pretty. Very happy. We've had a lot of rain. And these have all been fed compost tea, Epsom salts and some diluted urine, which they loved. These are the fruit trees I transplanted this last week from the compost pile. All of them seem to have come through okay. They wilted a little bit the first couple of days, but keeping them watered right away, giving them a little mild fertilizer, that has made for pretty good looking trees. They're all gonna pull through and do great, I think. I am really digging this seedling noni tree. This guy is looking fantastic. Look at how big around the base of this is. This is the one I did in the uh, Noni propagation video. And it was tiny, it was, it was way down here somewhere. And it's only been a few months. And the other one that I started from cuttings, um, three of the cuttings failed, one of them took. This one is looking very good, quite happy. There's not really a theme to today's video, but I did want to welcome all of the many of you who signed up and became subscribers after the Mother Earth News Online Summit. Great to have you all here. Thank you for coming. I hope that your thumbs will always be green and that uh, we can kind of hang out and do some crazy gardening stuff together. Or at least you can just sort of rubberneck at the bizarre things that I do on film. So be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time. I'll just stare at the camera like this and assume you're going to fill it in.